Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Music Messages Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. This is your love reading for December, and it is for Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. My videos here on this channel are timeless, so whenever you're coming across the message, you are more than likely meant to hear it at that time. I cannot guarantee that this will resonate for every single Gemini, so please use your discernment and only take what does resonate for you. But if you found this video, then you are more than likely meant to hear at least one thing from today's message, okay? As I was preparing for your reading, I did hear the song Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. It was really popular in the late 90s, and I believe it was associated with the movie She's All That. So either that song, that artist, or that movie might resonate with you, or the message behind the movie might be important to your love reading today, Gemini. It was an unlikely love match, and it was someone, um, you know, the, the main female lead there in the movie was not somebody that the that the main male protagonist would have necessarily chosen for himself at the beginning, all right? But they have kind of like an unlikely love connection, so that might resonate with you for your reading today. We're going to get right into it. So this is your energy as we enter the month of December, and this is the Knight of Cups. So you may be having very romantic feelings for somebody right now. Maybe since your last reading, you've come in contact with someone new or you've established some kind of relationship or situationship, or you might just be talking to somebody right now. Um, for others of you, this might not even be in the physical world. You might be sensing a very romantic vibe or energy right now from the 5D, and this might have to do with who's attached to your energy this month energetically. Uh, so we're going to get more information about that right now, who's attached to a Gemini's energy this month. Somebody who has a very difficult decision to make. What else can you tell me? Somebody who may be going through a spiritual awakening. We have the judgment card. Um, it can indicate like physical judgment, mental judgment about a situation. But for me, it always signifies spiritual evolution, spiritual awakenings, things like that. Um, for some reason, I'm, I'm drawn to the, to the number 20 on this card today. So the number 20 might resonate with someone here for some reason. Uh, only you're going to know. But yeah, this is a person who has a difficult decision to make because they are realizing things about themselves and leveling up spiritually right now. I am getting that this is one main energy so far. Yeah, we have the Fool card, but in reverse. It's somebody who wants this new beginning. It's Aries energy as well. Uh, but this, the Fool energy, the new beginning energy hasn't unlocked completely for this person yet because they're in the middle of some kind of phase of their own spiritual awakening or some kind of revelation that they're having, I don't see this being stopped up or stagnant for too much longer. It just hasn't completely unlocked yet. And again, I am getting that this is one main energy that's attached to you this month, Gemini. For some of you, you're in contact with this person already is what I'm picking up heavily. I just heard the name Caitlin, something with a C. Catherine, Caitlin, uh... Something along those lines. Katrina, I just heard for someone. Okay. Ten of Cups is your potential connection with this person. The basis of your connection. So a Ten of Cups in this position is almost like the storybook ending, guys. All right. So this is your potential, like how you relate to this person, how you come across this person. A Ten of Cups or a Two of Cups for me is ideal in this position. It's going to feel like a dream come true whoever this person is, or you at least, at the very least, you have this potential. This might all be happening energetically. Please keep that in mind. I can't always discern between energies in 3D versus 5D, so you're going to have to make that connection. But right now, you do have someone in your energy that you have a Ten of Cups potential with. It, it doesn't get much better than that. This next card is the potential challenge for you. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Someone who's having a hard time working through something. All right. And I do get that this is a lot of internal work that this person is doing, not necessarily an external circumstance, but they're in the middle of that right now. And I feel like that has the potential to influence your connection with this person. You may need to give them a little bit more time to either work on themselves or deal with whatever this internal conflict is that they're having. We're going to clarify on all of this, but that's the energy I'm picking up. And what can you tell me is the potential final outcome here, the potential outcome for Gemini for the month of December in their love life. 
wow, we have the Empress card. It's Taurus energy, but I get that that's you. I get that that's you standing in your power. And I get that that is you attracting your emperor or somebody who's an extremely high level soulmate and, and worthy of your very high vibration, Gemini, okay? Because I get that you're someone who's very self-assured. You're someone who really gives to your relationships. I'm picking up someone who's like a, almost like a hopeless romantic type energy. So anybody would be really lucky to have you, but also I'm picking up on someone who's leveled up and done a lot of internal work and done a lot of looking at your own patterning and making, uh, making improvements embracing the frequency of unconditional love, okay? Doing all of those things that have been really putting you in this empress energy and you are highly, highly attractive right now to potential romantic interests, not just physically, but also energetically, okay? I sense a few people in your energy, but this dominant energy is the one that wants to come through and the one that spirit has some messages for us today. All right, so what can you tell me about Gemini's energy for the month of December? You've gained a new perspective on something, Gemini. Like I said, I was picking up on someone who did a lot of internal work. I feel like you may be mirroring this person, but whoever this energy is attached to here is kind of lagging behind just a little bit. They need to catch up to you because I feel like you've had a very accelerated ascension process recently. Okay, this might not have been your first experience with a spiritual awakening, but if you go back and look at a lot of the Gemini videos I've done throughout the year, you know, I notice patterns. That's just the way I think. Gemini has had a lot of messages around spiritual awakening. So I feel like this past calendar year has been an immense time of spiritual growth for you. And almost like I said before, like an accelerated path to making those revelations, getting those new perspectives and like adjusting your energy accordingly. So you are really primed to receive right now, even more than I was picking up on throughout the year even. We have the two of wands. So yeah, you're someone who is having a lot of romantic feelings either in the physical world or in 5D, but you're somebody who's willing to think about, think about your next romantic decision carefully before you kind of enter anything new with anyone. Yeah, with the hanged man and the two of wands here, it's an energy of contemplation. And it's also an energy of pausing before moving into something. So even if you're having romantic feelings for someone in particular, I get that you are proceeding very carefully and just, you know, uh, with your wits about you because you want to make sure that you approach the situation in a way that's wise for you. And I feel like Gemini's, you know, you always think things through anyway, so... What can you tell me about this dominant energy that's attached to Gemini this month? Because I am picking up one main energy here. The lovers. <laughs> There's your energy, Gemini. Um, this person, it is coming out on the Two of Swords as well. So this person may have a difficult decision to make. I've been picking that up for many different signs. Uh, Aries, Taurus, and now you. So a lot of the people who are attached to you and the soulmates that are attached to you currently I feel like this is going to be a season of them just letting go of things that aren't working for them anymore. And that's why they may be dealing with a lot of these difficult decisions. Okay. What else can you tell me here about this person? They may have a choice between you and another person. Death. They have at least one element that needs to be removed from their life so they can move into this new phase. This fool energy that wants to unlock completely. This happy-go-lucky kind of fresh new perspective and start. For some of you, I do pick up that this is an Aries, possibly. Five of Swords. The decision that they make might not be the easiest one because it might lead to some conflict for them. All right. So for some of them, they may be leaving a partner that they're with and this is going to cause some kind of aggression, conflict, hostility in their life. For others of them, this is just representative of some kind of internal conflict, like I said before. Something that they're trying to work through internally. It might be like they, they're dwelling on the past in some way. Maybe it was a mistake that they made in their life that has them really looking at themselves from a new perspective because they're realizing that it was a mistake and they're realizing that they should have approached the situation differently. But something has them mentally tied up right now and emotionally tied up. And that's the only thing kind of stopping this fool energy from unlocking. But with the 10 of cups here, I see that loosening up. I see that freeing up um, in the near future. If not in December, then maybe like the next six or so weeks is what I'm picking up here. So I see forward movement with this person. They're just stuck on something right now. 
What can you tell me about this Ten of Cups connection between Gemini and their person? Yeah, this person, this is a devil card if you can't see it. This person is dealing with some kind of devil energy or toxicity from their past that needs to be let go. For a lot of them, it pertains to their own behavior. I'm not even getting a relationship here for a lot of them. I'm getting someone who made some kind of mistake or they're like ashamed of their past behavior or something like that. They're wondering how they could have let this happen in their life. And like seeing something from a brand new vantage point, like I said, you are mirroring each other to some degree. So this, this hanged man, energy I do sense it happening over here as well this person is seeing something with brand new eyes you know and they're realizing they they really effed up somewhere and it has them feeling very ashamed right now but it's going to be pivotal to their own spiritual growth um and you know they might be in that kind of accelerated ascension right now that you were in either previously this year or leading up to this time period we have the star energy as well. So yeah, they're healing from whatever this toxicity was. I feel like they're learning to forgive themselves in some situations. So something that really, they're, they're very ashamed of this decision or, or action that they took in some area of their life. But they're working on healing themselves right now, closing old wounds, uh, identifying wounding patterns and things like that, and really working on ridding themselves of that toxicity. Once that happens, you have the Ten of Cups here as the foundation, so that's a beautiful energy between you and this person. All right, Gemini, what can we? What can you tell me here about the Three of Pentacles in reverse as the potential challenge for Gemini? We have a Nine of Cups here. Yeah, right, coming out right on top of the Ten of Cups. So yeah, this, this is going to be a wish fulfillment when you and this person come together in 3D. You have the potential to have this nine of cups, ten of cups energy with this person, which is pretty much the whole package. Um, this person, though, this nine of cups is what they're trying to reach internally right now. And they are still working on that. OK, they're still working on that process and achieving this energy state in and of themselves before they can fully come toward you. If this is someone you're talking to already or maybe even started a relationship with already, maybe you're like casually talking or dating, just be mindful that they have some internal work that they're doing right now, but that they are, I sense that they're on the tail end of that. I'm sensing five to six weeks for some of them that they'll be coming out of that energy state and that their healing process will be complete to put them in this nine of cups. Page of Pentacles, yeah. That's someone who's learning lessons about themselves and learning how to navigate their own internal conflict right now. So just backing up, you know, echoing everything that we've said so far. But again, you have a beautiful potential connection with this person. All right. A lot of romance, a lot of like, I'm picking up almost like a puppy love type energy. You might be feeling that energetically, even if you haven't come across this person yet. You don't know where it's coming from. Um, or you know this person and you're already feeling that for them. But once you guys come into contact, it's kind of like a love at first sight type of thing for some of you, which is really nice. What can you tell me about the Empress as the possible outcome? Yeah, you've been seven of pentacles. You've been um, investing in yourself, investing in your own spiritual growth. And I just feel like you just need to keep doing that because you're already in your Empress energy and you're already attracting in this connection. The Magician. This is something that you manifested. You have manifested this through your spiritual growth, Gemini. So a very encouraging message today. We're going to receive some direct messages from your person now using the lover's oracle. But it's pretty straightforward too. I mean, not too much uh, that we need to clarify here. It's just that this person is working through something internally right now. As with all of our soulmate connections though, I feel like your spiritual growth is kind of pulling this person to forward. All right, so it's actually acting as a guide. Uh, I'm seeing somebody with like a lantern or a light illuminating the path. That's exactly what you're doing for this person, even if it's just happening on an energetic level right now, which is really beautiful. All right, so this is what this person would want to tell you, drama. I feel like this is internally. For some of them, it might be an external situation, but yeah, they want you to know that they're experiencing this upheaval and that they're still working through it right now. Why do I deserve someone like you? For some of them, a lot of the, uh, you know, potential romantic interests that I pick up on in these readings, whenever they're going through something difficult in their own 
environment or life circumstances, it has a tendency to affect their confidence levels. And that's happening again here with this person, but I, I see them getting over that relatively soon. I am better with my mind than my heart. So this is somebody who is maybe potentially learning how to navigate their own intuition and their own deeper sense of emotionality. But they also want you to know they kind of function from a left brain perspective. They're more of a logical person. Someone who really likes to think through their, their life choices and they're careful about how they speak, how they behave. Again, though, I see this person having some kind of revelation about somewhere in their life that they went morally askew, that they're very ashamed of right now. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, this has them kind of beating themselves up right now, but they're working through that process. And again, I see them clearing the energy. I'm obsessed with you. That came out for Taurus as well. So yeah, this person's obsessed with you, at least on a 5D level, okay? They feel this immense pull towards your energy. If you know who this person is already, then they are obsessed with you in the physical world as well. <laughs> I can't come to you now. So yeah, I just feel like they need a little bit more time to work out whatever this is. If you're in communication with this person, all this is letting me know is that they can't be fully forthright with you. So they can't tell you, they're not going to reveal some of their deeper feelings right now. And this was, again, a very similar message to Taurus, but that's just, you know, you may have uh, heavy Taurus placements in your chart or something like that, because there is a little overlap with the messages coming out today. But this person cannot fully show up for your connection quite yet until they've worked through whatever this internal conflict is. All right, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen soon. It just means that they're they're tied up with this right now and that you might need to show a little bit of patience around allowing them that space to do their own internal work. What else does Gemini need to know? Last quarter moon in Capricorn, leave the past behind. That's what this person needs to do. They, they're beating themselves up for a past mistake and it's affecting their decision making right now. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. Last quarter moon in Cancer, take a breather. So you might have a lot of placements in Capricorn or Cancer, or this person may. But I feel like, yeah, this is just representative of the isolation that this person has been going through because they've taken time for themselves. But I almost feel like they're overly isolated at this point because they have been beating themselves up. Unfortunately, there's not anything you can directly do about that besides what you've already been doing, Gemini, which is continuing to work on yourself, to pour into your own improvements, um, because that is what makes you magnetic and aligned with the highest frequencies. This person just needs to work through this on their own, and they will be very aligned with you once that process has been completed. We have a new moon in Pisces, so this person may be a Pisces, attuned to the divine. So... To me, this just speaks to divine timing, allowing this to unfold as it's going to unfold and not trying to force anything into place. I also feel though that this person has had some kind of a wake up call. The divine, their spirit team has sent them some kind of message about their, their past behavior that has them a little distraught right now, but is gonna be like really pivotal in them up leveling so that they're fully aligned with you and they can come toward you in the way that they want to. Because again, Gemini, they are obsessed with you. So I hope that something from today resonated with you or was helpful. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help the channel grow. I really want to thank all the people who've been doing that. It has been helping out. Also, I want to take some time to ask you um, to just ask what other types of videos you would like to see throughout the month. You are all co-creators here with me. I would like to get your feedback so that I can create content that would best serve you. Other than that, though, Gemini, I am wishing you all the peace and harmony, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.